Grief and Sadness, Duchess of Cambridge praises charity workers who support victims of the Grenfell tragedy, as she comforts mothers and hands out Christmas presents to survivors. The Duchess of Cambridge has heard the stories of mothers caught up in the Grenfell Tower blaze when she visited a centre supporting the local community. Kate had a private informal meeting with a group of young women who have been helped by the Rugby Portobello Trust at its community centre in North Kensington. She even played Father Christmas, helping to hand out presents to children whose parents attend the Magic Mums group, many of whom were affected by the Grenfell Inferno which claimed 71 lives, including that of a stillborn baby, and left hundreds homeless. The Trust has been a key institution for survivors of the blaze, helping to distribute much-needed donated funds to families who lost everything in the fire. The Duchess, who wore a coat by Seraphin, sympathized with the plight of the community and praised the work of the Trust, telling a group of youngsters in a music therapy workshop, it's amazing for all of you to have this support, particularly at such a difficult, such a tragic time. During the hour-long visit, Kate also met privately with families who had loved ones in the fire that struck in June this year. And she presented a letter from herself, William and Harry, which praised the community for working tirelessly in the aftermath of the terrible tragedy at Grenfell Tower. It added, every member of your team, from cooks to youth workers, fundraisers to teachers and army of volunteers, has dedicated themselves to supporting the community. The letter, which was in a frame, ended, we know how crucial your efforts have been at a time of overwhelming grief and sadness. One of the community centers closest to the blaze, Rugby Portobello Trust has spent most of the last six months focusing in helping the community recover from the tragedy. Leon Buncombe, from Kensington, who works on the center's new homes team, said, it's really just nice to have that appreciation. Obviously we've been working hard because it's just the right thing to do. We're part of the community so we're making sure that we're staying and helping those that need the support. She added, she was reiterating the face that, from everyone she spoke to, the concept that she really got across from everyone was about family. When people walk through the doors, regardless of their situation, it's about making sure they feel they are a part of something. And however we can help them. Leon's team has supported families by helping them access grants and new homes provided by the council. Presenting the letter, Kate said, this is just really to pass on huge congratulations to everyone for all the hard work that goes on here by everybody, obviously there must be a huge amount that you do in the community. I've, just, been, speaking to everyone here today, hearing some of the stories and hearing how the community center here really benefits everybody on so many levels. So well done to each and every one of you, this comes from all three of us, congratulations to you all. The Duchess, 35 also helped children set the table for a Christmas party later in the day and looked in on a music session and spoke to Reese Yebawu, 23, from Kensington, who knew people affected by the fire. Kate said to him, did you see it affect everyone, your family, your community? She added about the tower block, it's still such a physical presence as well. Reese, who was writing a poem, said afterwards, it was a good experience. I think we need more of people like that coming through to help the community and keep spirits strong. He added, I was saying to her with the fire I feel like it's affected everyone. People are still coping with it now. We are some way getting on with it a little bit but things like this do help our spirit. It shows that someone does care. It lifts our spirit and makes us feel that we're not abandoned. The Rugby Portobello Trust offers support services for young people, families and others and is part of a network of centers that run programs for children and parents such as homework clubs, sporting activities, social groups and tuition. The Trust and the Centre staff in Kensington have also been pivotal in supporting people affected by the Grenfell Inferno which claimed 71 lives, including that of a stillborn baby, and left hundreds homeless. The organisation established a new homes team to provide practical support to residents in relation to their new accommodation, and has played an important role in helping them access grants that became available, both through the local authority and from private donations.
Kate is well and truly back in the swing of royal duties after battling hyperemesis gravidarum, a severe form of morning sickness, during her early pregnancy. Kensington Palace was forced to announce the news of Kate's third pregnancy before she'd passed the crucial 12-week mark when illness meant she had to cancel an official engagement. In a short statement, the royal's office Kensington Palace said the baby, who will be fifth in line to the British throne, was due in April, but the exact date of the baby's expected arrival was not disclosed.